Hello YouTube, Dave here again. Today is the official release for the uh, Emon Ket set from Magic the Gathering. Uh, yesterday I opened up the uh, Gideon uh, Planeswalker deck. Uh, still looking for an opportunity to record the Liliana one with uh, my fiance Lily, so that's still going to be coming up hopefully in the next few days. Uh, but where it's finally readily available today, I went out and purchased the Emon Ket bundle. So this is actually the first bundle that I've uh, purchased. They started the, uh, the bundle replacing the old fat packs after uh, Eldritch Moon, so the first set with the bundles uh, was Kaladesh. And uh, basically the fat packs had nine booster packs in them, 80 card land pack, spin down counter, uh, and I think that was pretty well it besides like the, the storage box and the booklet containing all the, the cards from the set, uh, images of the cards. So I've never actually purchased a bundle before. I do know that it comes with uh, 10 boosters. I haven't even really looked at the packaging yet. Uh, I just got home from picking this up at uh, Giant Robot Comics in Dartmouth. So let's just take a look at, uh, I guess, the packaging. Then we'll open it up and see what we get for our cards. So just flip it over to the back here. And it says, uh, Rise Among the Worthy. Uh, the plane of Amonkhet Forges Warriors. Uh, you have trained your entire life for a chance to face the trials of the five gods and join the elite ranks of the worthy. Uh, using your strength, agility, and cunning, uh, overcome deadly challenges uh, and rise above the competition to claim an honored place in the afterlife. So this is a very much an Egyptian-themed set, which is uh, actually, I really like it. I like the the idea behind it. I wasn't really big on Kaladesh. It didn't do anything for me, uh, but I do like kind of the Egyptian themed. So uh, the contents are, a uh, player's guide with encyclopedia, the Amonkhet card box, 10 boosters, uh, ooh, 25 double-sided tokens, so that must be new for the bundles, uh, an 80-card basic land pack, which includes 20 full art basic lands. So I mentioned in the previous video that uh, they, there's only a certain number of full arts uh, in the set, instead of all the lands being full art like they were back with uh, Battle for Zendikar. Um, or at least all the ones that I ever saw uh, for Battle for Zendikar were, uh, were full art. So uh, this one's a little disappointing, so there's only four full art lands per uh, color. I don't even know, honestly, if I'm going to open up that land pack or not, because if it was the whole 80 cards, then I definitely would. Uh, but I've got so many loose lands right now that I don't know if it's really worth it to open it up just for those four uh, uh, full art ones uh, themselves. So anyway, and it comes with a spin down counter and a quick reference guide. So, without any further ado, let's just see if we can get this opened without damaging it. Alright. Just gonna do this all in one go here. Alright, oh. Okay, so uh, that just slides off. This I think is just. Oh wait, actually, this is. Uh, what is this? I said I've never actually bought a bundle before, so. Okay, it's kind of neat. Just another uh, another box there. Don't know what I'd end up doing with it, but maybe uh, I could put all my uh, life counters in this or tokens or something, but that's actually kind of cool. The other ones just had these cardboard sleeves that you would, uh, like just brown corrugated cardboard to kind of support the uh, the bundle there. So that's actually kind of neat. And I might even, uh, I might even decide to just put this back in for, for display, but that's that's cool actually, I like that. So uh, I've never actually, like I said, I've never seen the, uh, the bundle before. It's just a security thing. Uh, player's guide. I'm not gonna flip through too much because I don't want to potentially spoil anything, but it has the uh, the set list in here, so if you're looking to uh, to collect all the all the cards, then there you go. Actually, you know what, since I don't plan on opening up the uh, the land pack, let's have a look at the base, or the full art lands. So here they are, so we got the plains, uh, the mountain, or the island, sorry, uh, which I got, I think, in the last pack, um, a swamp, mountain and forest. So not even necessarily all that great. They all kind of show the same centerpiece. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not uh, I'm not as 
crazy about the, the full arts in this one as I was for Battle for Zendikar. So here's the uh, the deck box itself, or the Amon Cat box itself. Uh, it's got this slant going on, which I don't actually like that. Uh, it looks kind of, I don't know, to me that looks kind of ugly. Uh, sitting there instead of being flushed down, but I, I don't know, I guess they made their decision for one reason or another. But that's that. Let's look at what we have inside. So here is our Amon Ket uh, life counter, and this is the coolest life counter uh, that I think I've ever gotten. So I actually really, really like that. I like the uh, the pattern. It's not just the speckled uh, pattern that all the other ones that I've gotten have been. That's actually really cool. So I like that. Uh, probably the one that I use from now on. And we got our land pack, which doesn't even have the full arts at the front. Uh, and we got our token pack. And our 10 card packs. So, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So two of each. I don't really know who any of the uh, characters are on the pack art, so just gonna kind of separate them by the pack art itself. Uh, why don't I open up the double-sided tokens, because this is actually pretty cool. I had no idea that they were doing this. I wonder if they were doing this for the previous uh, previous sets, but... So, we got a zombie and an emblem. Okay, cool. So it actually has the... Uh, it's gonna include the emblems too, which is neat. Uh, unwavering Initiate. Uh, the worm, uh, Avon Initiate Snake, Avon Wingard, and a Hippo, Hippo Token. Okay, cool. I'm just going to show these off. I'm not going to read all of them, just to try to get through it quickly. If you want to pause it and see what they do, uh, then by all means. Uh, Sacred Cat. Okay. Insect. Okay, yeah, there are a lot of different tokens here. And zombie. Is that the same zombie just said it? Yeah, that's the same zombie. So some of these might uh, end up duplicating, but I guess that's fine. Zero of many faces. Uh, you may have a zero of many faces, enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it has no mana cost. Cool. And, alright, I think some of these are starting to, uh, starting to repeat, so we'll just go through, kind of show some of them. Uh, I wonder if there's any other emblems. Or if Gideon's the only, maybe Gideon's the only planeswalker. Uh, with an emblem. That looks to be the way. Okay. But that's still pretty cool uh, to have the uh, the tokens included. So I, I, I like that. That's actually a pretty pretty cool addition. But now we are down to the actual packs itself. So let's start with those. We got ten of them to open. So hopefully we get something something decent. I'd like to get a uh, Liliana just because I've never actually pulled a Liliana. As much as I bought tons of packs of Eldritch Moon, I just never ended up getting her. So, uh, we'll go through. So we got a Ta Crop Skirmisher, uh, Minotaur Sure Shot, Dejiru's, uh, Jiru's Resolve, Giant Spider, and a Dung Beetle. Gift of Paradise, Wasteland Scorpion, so a lot of insects and arachnids, uh, Emberhorn Minotaur, Those Who Serve, uh, Scribe of the Mindful. Our first uncommon is a Watchful Naga. Exemplar of Strength. Uh, Stir the Sands. And our rare is uh, Avon Mind Sensor. So two and a white uh, creature, it's a bird wizard, has flash and flying. Uh, if an opponent would search a library, that player searches the top four cards of that library instead. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, especially if you're going up against somebody who has a lot of search your library effects. So that's, uh, that's actually pretty neat. 
And we got a cat and a planes. I'll just put that there. Lands and tokens. All right. Pack number two. Okay, so Azure's uh, Resolve, uh, Naga Oracle, and again, I'm not going to read what these do. Uh, if you want to pause uh, to read the individual cards, you can. I'm just going to focus basically on the rares as far as reading them off, or if I find something that's really cool. Uh, Curse Minotaur, Colossipede, Emberhorn Minotaur, uh, Cradle of the Accursed, which I had, I think, in the last video as well, uh, Floodwaters. Uh, stinging Shot. Put three negative one, negative one counters on a target creature with flying. Okay. Cool. Wasteland Scorpion. Our first uncommon is a Warfire uh, Javelinier. Renewed Faith. Gain six life. And Cycling, which I guess is something they brought back for this one. Uh, Limits of Solidarity. And our rare is a Harsh Mentor. So one and a red for a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, whenever, uh, sorry, it's a creature human cleric. Whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact, creature, or land on the battlefield, if it isn't a mana ability, Harsh Mentor deals two damage to that player. That's actually pretty cool as well. And then we got ourselves a forest and a heart piercer manticore. Uh, what tokens with abilities when they enter the battlefield? Uh, when heart piercer Manticore enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature. When you do, Harpiercer uh, Manticore deals damage equal to that creature's power to target creature or player. That's kind of neat. Pack number three. So I'm thinking at this point, probably the only other, I'm, you know, I'm going to probably buy some loose packs here and there. Uh, you know, I don't have a ton of uh, funds to really spend on a lot of magic cards, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, I, I, like I said, I do like this set, so I want to see if I can get as much stuff as I possibly can uh, for it, because I think it is kind of a cool, kind of a cool set. Uh, we got a Pouncing Cheetah. Uh, Wander in Death. Supernatural Stamina, Magma Spray, uh, Decision Paralysis, Scribe of the Mindful, uh, Honed Kopesh. Our first uncommon is uh, Kethnet's Monument. Blue spell or blue creature spells you ca uh, cast cost one less. Whenever you cast a creature spell, target creature. An opponent controls doesn't untap during its controller's next untap phase. That's actually pretty cool too. Manglehorn. Uh, scaled Behemoth and our rare is another uh, Heaven and Earth. So I had this actually in my last video as well. <coughs> so it kind of sucks to get a uh, duplicate rare with only opening five packs. Uh, but basically it's X and a green. Uh, heaven deals X damage to each uh, creature with flying, and then the Earth is X and two red, uh, which it's an aftermath ability, so you can cast the spell only from your graveyard, and then it gets exiled, and it deals X damage to each creature without flying, so you can damage creatures with or without flying as well on each turn. Uh, Angel of Sanctions uh, token. So it's flying. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until Angel of Sanctions leaves the battlefield. So it's interesting how many tokens seem to have abilities. Um, so if I ever make a red-green deck, then I may as well toss those in there because I got two of them now. Pack number four. Bloodlust uh, Insider. Fan Bearer, Ta Crop Skirmisher, uh, Unburden, Shed Weakness, uh, Scribe of the Mindful, Supernatural Stamina, Stinging Shot, Magma Spray, 
and Octra, uh, Octra's name. Our first uncommon is Sensor. So target counter spell unless this controller pays one mana. Time to reflect. Uh, lay claim. Uh, you control enchanted permanent. So just steal somebody's monster. And our rare is oh, uh, failure to comply. So another dual card. Uh, and then we just got a mountain. So it's no full art lands yet uh, from the packs that I've opened, which kind of sucks. Uh, but anyway, failure to comply. Uh, so, failure, one and a blue, return target spell to its owner's hand. And then comply, uh, one white, uh, aftermath, you cast this only from your graveyard and then exile it. Choose a card name until your next turn. Your opponents can't cast spells with chosen name. Eh, eh, not a big fan of that one. Just because, I know it's a low cost, but... You, you return the target spell to its own. So if you interrupt <coughs> someone's um, sorcery or enchantment, it just goes back to their hand. And this, the uh, the comply only um, prevents them from casting it for one turn. So not crazy on that. I'm sure it has its uses. Um, I'm not super uh, competitive or up to speed with like standard and magic and stuff like that. So who knows, that may be a lot better than... Uh, than I kind of think it is at this point, but anyway, let's just move on. Uh, okay, so we got uh, Kartosh of Zeal, or Kartosh, Kartosh of Solidarity. I think that's the second time I've gotten those two in a row. Oh, Kartosh of Knowledge. That's cool. Can I get the others? Ah, uh, so Haze of Pollen, Festering Mummy, Blazing Volley, Painful Lesson. Uh, Ember Horn Minotaur, Cradle of the Accursed, I think I've got almost a play set of those now, uh, Floodwaters, our first uncommon is Time to Reflect, Sensor, uh, Shadowstorm Vizier, oh, that's kind of cool, and our rare is Hazaret's Favor, so this is another, uh, another duplicate, oh wait, oh, okay, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, so this is another duplicate. I got this in my Gideon pack as well, so yeah, so not too big on getting duplicates this early. Now what is this? I guess these are some tokens, counters? They're corded, like they're um, perforated so you can actually tear them out. Uh, bricks? I haven't seen anything that requires Brick uh, counters yet, but uh, exerted, embalmed, uh, exerted. Oh, okay, that might be kind of cool. So I'll set that aside in case I need that. And just move on to the next pack. All right, compelling argument. Brute strength. Cartouche of Solidarity, Shed Weakness, Doomed to Center, when it dies, create a 2-2 Black Zombie Token, Cartouche of Ambition, Shimmer Scale Drake, Cradle of the Accursed, so I have at least four of those now, uh, Ashra Cultivator, Electrify, our first uncommon is Lord of the Accursed, so other zombies you control get plus one, plus one. That's pretty cool. Uh, Hazaret's Monument. Red creature spells you cast cost one less. Whenever you cast creature spell, you may discard a card if you do draw cards. So that's kind of neat. Scaled Behemoth. And our rare is a Throne of the God Pharaoh. So it's Legendary Artifact for two. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses life equal to the number of tapped creatures you control. That could be pretty good. And we got another one of those. And a swamp. Uh, so actually that might be a really good one. Um, I actually like that one, so that's, that's a cool one. <clears throat> Alright. Let's 
see, last four packs. So I haven't gotten any Mythics yet. I think usually you get ten to get, not necessarily forced to get, but you tend to get at least one Mythic per uh, fat pack, at least that's what it used to be. Uh, so hopefully we get one here. Uh, Hecma Sentinels. Manticore of the Gauntlet. Supply Caravan. Essence Scatter. Uh, ornery Kudu. Kudu. Antelope. Doomed to Center. Uh, Luxa River Shrine. Uh, three, one tap it, gain one life. Put a brick counter. Okay, there we go. Uh, put a brick counter on uh, River Shrine. You gain tap it, you gain two life. Activate this ability only if there are three or more brick counters. So, okay, I guess we have a use for those brick counters. Uh, Horror of the Broken Lands. Oh, Evolving Wilds. I know a lot of people don't really like this card, but I'm going to be honest, I totally love Evolving Wilds. Um, really cool. Uh, Hooded Brawler. And I apologize for the noise outside if you can hear that. Uh, they're doing some work on some of the apartment buildings near here, and the windows are all closed, so if it comes through again, I, I apologize. Uh, first uncommon is Sensor. Deem worthy. Oh, uh, reduced to rubble, so is an uncommon. Uh, so reduce, uh, two and a blue, counter target spell, unless this controller pays three, and then rubble, which is aftermath, I'm not going to go over that again, but up to three target lands don't untap during their controller's next untap step. That's kind of cool. And our rare is an anointed procession, so three and a white, if an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice as many uh, of those tokens as dead. So that's actually pretty cool as well. And there's a full art land, so we got ourselves a mountain. And a warrior token. Alright, three packs left. Hopefully we can get a Liliana, would be nice to finally pull one of those. At least I have one in the actual deck, so if I don't pull one, I at least have a Liliana anyway, uh, so there. Uh, Desert, uh, Ceridon. Forsake the Worldly, Compelling Argument, Thresher Lizard, Doom Dissenter, got a bunch of those now, uh, Ornery Kudu, Kudu, however you pronounce that, Impeccable Timing, Hyena Pack, Horror of the Broken Lands, actually I also noticed I haven't gotten any foil cards yet, so, hmm. Uh, hopefully I didn't get a really bad box. Uh, anyway, Horror of the Broken Lands, another Luxor River Shrine. First uncommon is Warfare Javelinier. Second uncommon is Spring to Mind. So Spring, search your library for a basic land card and put it on the battlefield tap, then shelf your library, that's two and green. And then Mind is four and two blue, uh, and lets you draw two cards. We got that. Uh, Trial of Solidarity. Uh, when Trial of Solidarity enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus two, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. When a Caratouche enters the battlefield under your control, return Trial Solidarity to its owner's hand. Okay, and our rare is a Curator of Mysteries. So two and two blue. Uh, flying for four, four Sphinx. Whenever you cycle or discard another card, scry one, and you could technically cycle this uh, for one blue to discard it and draw a card. And hey, we got another Full Art Mountain. And another warrior token. Two packs to go. Let's see what we got here. Ah, tormenting voice. Wing Shepherd. Benefactor of uh, Ronas. Miasmic Mummy, Floodwaters, Gift of Paradise, Wasteland Scorpion, Emberhorn Minotaur, Those Who Serve, Our First Uncommon uh, Faith of the Devoted, Renewed Faith, uh, Limits of Solidarity, 
And our rare is a honored, a uh, honored, wow, honored Hydra. So five and a green for trample. It's a six six. It has embalm three. So uh, sorry, three and a green. So for three and a green, I can exile this card from my graveyard to create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a white zombie uh, snake Hydra with no mana cost. So that's pretty cool. And oh, we actually have a foil card in this one. Uh, spidery Grasp. That is really gross and unsettling. I'm not a big fan of big giant spider art. Uh, so two and a green. Untapped target creature gets plus two, plus four, and gains reach until end of turn. Ugh. And a full art forest. And an Avon Wind Guide. So, alright, so at least we're getting some full arts. Got a foil. Uh, the Hydra, I like. Last chance for a mythic. All right, uh, Ret Crop Spearmaster, Seeker of Insight, Miasmic Mummy, Colossipede, Cradle of the Accursed, Floodwaters, Stinging Shot, Wasteland Scorpion. Uh, Electrify. Uh, first uncommon is a Watchful Naga. Second is Deem Worthy. Uh, third is Reduced to Rubble, which I think we already looked at that one. We did. And our rare. Oh, it is a Mythic. It's not a Planeswalker, though. Uh, oh, we got a God. Uh, Hazaret the Fervent. So, Legendary Creature God. Three and a red. Yeah, it's 5 fourth indestructible in haste. Uh, Hazard the Fever can't attack or block unless you have one or fewer cards in hand. Uh, but for two and a red, discard a card. Uh, Hazard deals two damage to each opponent. So that one is actually really cool. And we got ourselves another foil. So a Nimble Blade uh, Kenra. That's what that one does, nice and shiny. And another Full Art Forest. And a cat. All right, so we got our mythic in the last pack, and it's one of the gods. So that is pretty cool. Anyway, that was my opening for the Amon Cat uh, bundle pack. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I hope to do a few more uh, openings for different uh, products. So I still have the Liliana deck, uh, which I'm hoping to record with my fiance in the next uh, couple of days and get that out. Um, if they do like a deck builder's toolkit, I'll probably get one of those as well. And then finally I'll do a few just random pack openings, stuff like that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I really like this set, looking forward to it. I'm hoping to get some more cool cards, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.